Okay, so we're moving on. In this video, we're talking about default values. What's up with this part right here? Default. So as we talked about a little bit in the last video, it's helpful to be able to decide or to set default values. So if something is not specified, that there will be a fallback. And here's how we do it. We use default, so you can see both of these when we're defining a table. Default, and then we specify default. So for name, if you leave off name, I just said, okay, we'll call it unnamed or name to be determined. Sometimes if this is a cat shelter, in, in the real world, um, sometimes they decide on a name a little bit later once they figure out the cat's personality. And then for age, if this is more of a silly example, but if we wanted to, if we didn't specify age, we could always set it to be 99. Not sure why, but for the sake of this exercise, we're going to do that. So let's give it a shot, remaking a new cats table, cats three. Okay, here we go. So create table, cats three, and I'll do a new line here. And we will have name var car. Let's do 20, even though my slides say 100, it's okay. Default, and our default will be Let's see, no name provided. How about that? It's important that whatever you put here matches this data type. So we couldn't say the default is the number 100. And then we'll have our comma, age, and age is an int. Default should be 99. Perfect. Close that. Now, if we do our describe cats three, here we go. So we have default, no name provided, and default 99 for age. Awesome. Okay, so now let's give it a shot. Let's do insert into cats three, and I'll do age only and no name. And age will be, uh, let's do 13, just like that. What do you think will happen? I'm going to insert a new cat into cats three, which is right here, only providing age. And name has a default value of no name provided. Okay, I did it. Now let's look, select star from cats three, and I get no name provided. Perfect. So we have a default value that's working great. We could do the same thing for age. Feel free to skip this if you feel like you know exactly what's going to happen. I'll leave, let's leave both off this time. Insert into cats three values. Now when we select, we have another unnamed cat, this time who is 99 years old by default. So the next thing that I want to talk about, here's another version of creating a table for cats four this time. And I combined not null alongside default. Otherwise it's the same. So we have name, var car, default is unnamed, age, int, default is 99, but I added in not null. And as I wrote here, you might be thinking, isn't this redundant? Because if we have a default value, it's already saying it won't be null. Um, if we go back and we look at cats, regular cats, if we do an insert into cats, just like this. And if you can remember all the way back to cats, um, we have no default provided. And I do select star from cats, we get null, null. There's no default values. And then when we have our cats three, when I insert something like this right here, insert into cats three, it's totally empty we have those defaults. So when I select star, whoops, from cats three, we get no name provided 99. So why would we wanna add not null? And the answer is that we could still manually set something to be null. So if I did that here, let's do insert into cats three and I'll do name and age, name and age, values, 
and I will say there's no name. All right, let's say name is, what's another state in Montana? It's not too bad for a cat's name. Great state, by the way. Um, and we'll leave age as null, explicitly null, just like that. Let's do select star from cats three. And you can see that there was nothing stopping us from setting age to be null. All that we have is a default value. If you don't specify something, it will be 99, but you're allowed to say null. I'm allowed to say this is explicitly an empty value. Okay, so that's where this comes in. Name, varchar, not null, and a default. And I won't make you sit through me typing that whole thing, so I'll just copy it. But to walk through it again, same thing here. Same with the default, we just added not null and not null. So let's go ahead, paste this in. This is cats4. This time, if I do describe cats4, we now have null is no on both, and we have a default on both. So we're almost there, I know. It's been a little bit of a long video. Let's do a insert into cats4. And we will specify name and then age. And this time, if I do values, oops, and I say name is, uh, what's the name? Let's do Cali, fine. Sort of a state name. And age is null. If I do this, this time we get an error. So not just a warning, but an error saying, it cannot be null, and that's what not null specifies. So important to note that uh, you'll use not null pretty often. It's a way of, of basically requiring that something has a value, but also saying that it's not allowed to be null itself, which I also included as a slide here. In cat three, we can manually insert something as null.